Hey everyone, it's Mojax, back in the DJ City UK lab. I'm producing this video on the eve of the release of Tractor Pro 3.5 from Native Instruments. Now, this has been in public beta for a little while. You may already be aware of what's in it, but on top of the usual kind of bug fixes and that kind of thing, there are two fairly major new features. So, let's get to it. The first notable big feature of Tractor Pro 3.5 is the addition of support for two streaming platforms, Beat Source Link and Beatport Link. It kind of goes without saying that I'm excited about this as I'm part of the Beat Source team, but regardless of that, this is still a pretty big deal. Native Instruments have dabbled in streaming previously, but only in their beginner-focused Tractor DJ app, and so this is the first time any such services have been made available in their flagship DJ application. Setting up to use the link services is very straightforward. Simply activate one or both in the preferences window, log in, and then the libraries appear in the side panel along with your local files. You can import link tracks to your collection and mix them with local music in playlists, which isn't the case with all integrations. There are a couple of limitations still present at this time. You can only analyze a link track by loading it to a deck. So if you want to analyze a playlist ahead of time, you need to do it track by track. But once that analysis is done, the metadata along with any grid changes you make or cues and loops that you add are saved locally, so will be recalled next time the track is loaded. On a similar note, the actual offline storage locker isn't available in Tractor yet, but I can confirm that's definitely coming soon. Overall, this integration is very smooth and clean, and we're delighted to have it. Despite the ups and downs the software has had in recent years, I know there are still a lot of die-hard Tractor users out there, and so to be able to bring link services to those DJs is just fantastic. Now, I knew that link support was coming to 3.5 and it's been in there since the earliest beta versions, but what I was not aware of until very recently was that 3.5 would also include HID control for Pioneer DJ's CDJ3000. To be honest, this came as a surprise. When the CDJ3000 made its debut in September 2020, HID support for Serato DJ Pro was promised and this still hasn't materialized. In the meantime, HID mode with Algorithms DJ came along as well as Virtual DJ and now now we have it in Tractor Pro too. With Rekordbox being supported from day one, as you'd expect, that leaves Serato as the only major platform which doesn't support the CDJ3000s yet. The Tractor One is a very solid integration. Native Instruments HID support for CDJs has always been great when they do it, and with the 3000, things are no different. The software's audio interface options aren't locked down in any way, so you can choose whether to run audio through a compatible mixer, separate audio interface, or combine the interfaces in the players themselves and use those. One thing to note, when using Rekordbox with a suitable Pioneer DJ mixer, you can connect HID mode via Pro DJ Link, but with Tractor you will still need USB connections between each player and your computer. Tractor takes full advantage of the large displays on the 3000s, with both the full-size and smaller overview waveforms shown simultaneously. The colour of those will also change according to your chosen colour scheme in the software itself. Rendering of the big waveform is pretty smooth, certainly equivalent to Rekordbox in HID mode. The different touch control panels like Beat Loop, Key Shift and Beat Jump work largely as expected. As with other HID implementations on the 3000 though, you can't swipe through playlists, you have to use the rotary encoder for that. Track artwork is displayed clearly in the jog wheel display, as well as the virtual playhead and a cue marker. The jog wheel itself is nicely responsive too, whether you're scratching or pitch bending, and in general, all of the hardware controls feel snappy. I've mostly been using the 3000s in HID mode with Rekordbox recently, so I could use BeatSource and Beatport Link with them, and the integration Native Instruments have done with the players here is absolutely on a par with Pioneer DJ's own. If you're a Tractor user who either wants to buy some 3000s of your own, or you're likely to encounter them at gigs, then you should absolutely be excited about this integration. It's fully on point. So there you go, a look at Tractor Pro 3.5 from Native Instruments. Of course, as a member of the BeatSource team, I'm delighted that we have BeatSource and Beatport Link inside Tractor Pro now. That's the first time you've ever been able to use any kind of streaming services in that particular piece of software. So that's a big deal. It's also the last of the big platforms for us to get an integration with. So yeah, we're super happy with this one. There's still a little way to go in terms of features, but on the whole, it works very nicely. So if you are a BeatSource, or Beatport Link user, definitely fire up the new version of Tractor and you should have a lot of fun. The other massive feature here is the ability to have that CDJ control mode for the CDJ 3000s. That's a big deal because when the CDJs first came out in 2020, there was a lot of talk about the Serato support. That was all promised, that was definitely coming. Wasn't so much mentioned about Tractor, 
But here we are in June 2021, and actually tractor support has come along first. So kudos to Native Instruments for making that happen. It's a very nice integration, definitely on a level with the integrations that you had with the CDJ2000 Nexus 2 before it, you know, having the large waveform there. All the controls are pretty intuitive and it just works very nicely. So if you've been using CDJ2000 Nexus 2s with Traktor previously at gigs and so on, then you'll very easily adapt to using it with the 3000s as well. It's really, there's like no learning curve at all. So definitely, if you're a Traktor user, go ahead, get this one downloaded, get it installed, because this version is a pretty serious upgrade. Thanks for watching today. Make sure you subscribe for all our future tips, tricks, and product reviews. I'll see you soon.